That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yes, we are. It looks like it's a freaking genocide. It's genocide. Stop. Stop for a second, everyone. Stop for a second. I'm going to talk about it before you start screaming back. Before she continues, because you forgot a couple things. I spit on your issue, sir. Yes. The students told the principal and teachers, uh -huh. check your very cameras, and you'll see students threw water bottles at us and no. other items, and they will not check the cameras. One, two. Why would the principal and teachers give students dirty looks even till today? How could they not go check the cameras to see if the students are throwing water bottles at us? Assault with the deadly weapon, the metal bottle. It's assault with the deadly weapon. And see if it's two water bottles were thrown at them. Shouldn't they not also suspend them? Arrest the students! Recording minors. Isn't that a problem? No one got to talk about The ones are true. Yeah. The ones are true. Arrest those people. Right now, to not talk about the global situation as if it doesn't affect Palestinians here at home that are losing their families. Yeah. As if it doesn't affect the community over here that is in between blocking about these issues. We're not here to make you comfortable. We're not here to make you comfortable. We're tired. Hold on, just a second. Let me finish. Let me finish. I want everyone. To know exactly what those students were protesting and then make a decision if you believe that you should prioritize some people's discomfort and some people's offense to what is happening materially on the ground that is affecting actual bodies. Let me tell you what is happening. Over 17,000 killed in just two months by an indiscriminate bombing campaign which has targeted hospitals, ambulance convoys, bakeries, drug stores, refugee camps, civilian entities galore. It has killed over 7,000 children in just two months. And this is one of those thousands that are trapped under the rubble right now as we speak. As we speak, there are children in hospitals that are chopping off entire limbs without anesthesia. And chopping off entire limbs, excuse me, let me finish, please. I let you finish. I, I would just like to finish. Chopping off entire limbs in eight
then then for actions, uh, the Rook then starts just keeping up the nice shit, and then for actions, it just kept going. Yep. that supported segregation. I bet a lot of you don't know this, but do you know that Vic Cheney, the once vice president of this own country, do you know that he kept saying no to Martin Luther King holiday? He was one of the board committees that decides if Martin Luther King is a holiday or not. Our own vice president voted no every single time. And it was leaked out only like in the early 2000s. And he was disgraced and embarrassed, and yet he became the vice president of this country. Imagine saying no to a man who simply, even though they stick dogs on him for the color of his skin, he still preached on violence. And the vice president of the so-called United States of America said no to even making it a holiday for him. The same people back there are the type that would support segregation, supported people of color not to use a bathroom simply because of the color skin. And you know what really kills me? I spoke at several churches over the years. The one thing I always told racists, it's one thing being racist. How could you be Christian and be racist? And saying you believe in God, let me finish. And saying you believe in God, yet you're saying you hate this person because of the color of his skin. How do you say God created the heavens and the earth and you hate someone because of color skin? If you believe in God, then you're saying God made a mistake? Why do you care what the color of skin is? Why do you care what language they speak? We're all bleeding the same fucking color. We all have the same organs. Why do you care? And that's what kills me. A lot of the so-called evangelical Christians in this country, I'm not blaming Christianity, let me be clear. I'm blaming the extremist Christians, just like I'm Muslims, and I condemn extremist Muslims. The extremist Christians in this country, 
They want to pretend to support Israel because Israel's right. That's not true. A lot of you don't know this. They have this warped sense of belief. They, I'm telling you, they will tell you secretly. They believe unless all Jews migrate to Israel, and it doesn't matter if it means killing all the Palestinian Arabs and Muslims, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will not come back unless Jews migrate to Israel, take over all Israel, and then he comes back, and then he slaughters the Jews, and that's the only way the rapture happens. That's a fact that extremist Christians believe it. Yeah, you never hear that about on American media. And I'm sick and tired of only hearing about extremist Muslims, but we're not hearing about extremists like him. A man like that right there, when he hears his students say water bottles were thrown at us, he should immediately go check the cameras and go ahead and get down to the bottom of it. Enough is enough. I want every single one of you to make me one commitment. And that commitment is you're coming back to this room another day. Yeah. 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 They, think, they think somehow that now we're going to be less. Now we're going to come here with more people. Yeah. I, I, I did not think that the school board would refuse to hear from the community. That's what it's like. So I now I'm more worried for the students of this district as that mother just mentioned. Because if it comes from the school district to the principal and the leadership, I'm concerned for the Dinah students. Jews and Muslims and Christians and everything in between. I am concerned for those students because I want a school system that respects the identity of all students and respects and values every student. And most importantly, is willing to listen to the community when the community shows up. Yeah. Shame on them. Yeah. Shame on them.